a sneak house back tonight. Tonight we've got the latest release from Abtosid. Debian based as you know. Lovely, super duper. This is the XFCE version. I'm going to quickly go to the website. As you can see, Debian, hot and spicy. It certainly is. Don't come in much, but then if you're going to use it, you know what you're going into, don't you, really, in the day. Now all I can say is super fast, based on SID. Debian SID, of course. All the new updates in it, and the ones I really like here is it supports all the new Rowlink uh, wireless devices. So if you've got a new USB dongle, something like that, for your WLAN, this will support it. Nice, love it, super duper. This is what some of the other uh, repos are missing, missing basically, and say Ubuntu and stuff like that. They don't support so many devices. So I'll just type in my password there. Now I've had to install Synaptic, and you have to do that. It doesn't come with it whatsoever. So yeah, think about that. So I'm just going to quickly look for something in Aptosid, in Synaptic. I'm just going to look for the GIMP. And basically it will come up with GIMP and all the extras and add-ons, basically as you would expect in Synaptic, really. No different whatsoever. But say you didn't want to do this, you want to be more of a purist. And you know, oh, I don't want this, I want to do it all command line, blah, 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 blah. What would you just do with that? Of course, because it's Debian. So basically we go over to the terminal, we open up our terminal, now we're going to run as root here to do this sort of stuff. So type in su, and then your master password, or your root password, whatever it is, and there you go, you're in root. Now basically all you do is to install a package, now I'm going to install GIMP here, is apt get, you don't have to do sudo anymore in this one, apt get install, and I'm just going to type in GIMP. Now if you wanted synaptic, you type in synaptic, and it'll come up for you. Now GIMP's come up, yep, I want it. Do I install it? Of course I do. So what I'm basically going to do is install it for you, or while I'm doing it. So put a Y in, and let it download. Now, of course, for reasons of time, I've cut the video a bit, so we'll get rid of that, otherwise it takes like a minute, and we don't want that really, do we? So there we go, we're right at the end now. Install all that stuff, get all for the repos, nice. All been tested for us. SID is getting very, very stable now. It's not stable as stable, but it's stable. Not as a stable, but a horse in, though, but it's stable. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, there we go. Unpacking all the files, here we go. It starts installing stuff. This also takes quite a while. But bear in mind the ISO is on about 430. It's not a bad little distro, but really. it comes with quite a lot of basic stuff to get you going. But then when you want to add stuff like this, like GIMP, you have to add it yourself. Now I'm just doing it internal just to say what can be done. But you can just do it in Synaptic if you really wanted to. Now that's all done now. So I'll click on the X. And I'm going to go all the right way down here to my menu. There we go. Click on the menu. And we'll go up to Graphics and GIMPs there. There you go, lovely. Wait for it to come up. As you know, first time GIMP starts up, it takes a bleeding age, and after that it doesn't. For certain reasons that I don't know, because I don't. Anyway, there we go. GIMPs there. Oh, look at that. Nice, works, super. What more can I say? It's what you would expect, really. GIMP's been getting for years and years and years now, and I've been, I used it for, oh, even when I was a Windows user, a long, 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 long time ago. So, go back to Synaptic. <clears throat> I have to put the password again. Now, I thought, in my stupidness, that you would see the Raylink packages here for the uh, drivers. But if I type it in Raylink, because it is a Raylink driver, really, it's not there. So, obviously, I've typed something wrong. Somebody can correct me on that. It's probably just R Link in it, or something like that. Anyway. So, that was a bit of a downer for the video there, but that's enough of the downers. Let's go to the next bit. So anyway, go to Applications again. I'm going to scroll down and go to System. Now, you can see there's quite a lot there, isn't there? Quite a lot, yeah. Super duper to use it. And remember, I've only installed GIMP and Synaptic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the browser, which is ISWE. It's not. You've got to remember that um, Aptoshid is based on totally free st sort of stuff. There's no like, other stuff in there. So, I'm on YouTube now. I'll go to my page so I can show you one of my videos. But I know it's not going to run because Flash doesn't come pre installed because it's a free, free, free. Has to be free. Free, free. Ah, so you say, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Now, of course, you would normally go with Synaptic, wouldn't you? And you say get Flash or Flash 10 or whatever. Not so easy this time because you have to install the where it's got to come from. And on this one, for, for the video, I haven't done that. I didn't really want to do that. It makes it too easy, doesn't it? So I say you want to be totally free. So I've typed in Flash, look, as you can see. It'll come up. 
there is no get flash or no flash nothing but you do get Ganesh now I've not had much luck with Ganesh recently but it's recently had an update and it says it doesn't support flash 10 but I thought you know maybe it does maybe it doesn't see I'm strolling down so I can find the proprietary one but we don't really want to use proprietary really do we if you're going to do free free you know what I mean we want to do free yes but it's not there we're just trying to save some time really <sighs> so what do we do so you know what I'm going to do we're going to scrub again we're going to install that and see if it works because it's been getting better and better and better the guys that do it work flawlessly and there's only a couple of them trying to get it work you know and I thought this time maybe they might have done it so I'll click and apply and I'm going to install it now it doesn't take too long at all as you can see my net's a bit slow tonight sneaky kids on these bloody Xbox again I'll shoot him tomorrow anyway, so there we go all downloaded it's going to install our packages for us and hopefully I'm saying hopefully Ganesh might work this time well I'm very hopeful this time you know what because I know it's going to work I can't believe it might here. No, so I'm just going to show you look so it's finishing the install I'm going to close it in a sec click the box to close snap it does a little bit okay all done hunky dory love it lovely look browser my plugin for my browser is there there's no extras there there are extras you can install for Ganesh I might do the tools one uh, another time that's command line only so it's not for new users really is it so what do we do okay I'm going to open my browser one more time yeah one more time straight to the tube and I'm going to type my name again so I'm not breaking any laws and stuff like that put my name in and it should come up my videos there they are I'm not doing the same one again I'm going to do attack pub I'm going to click on it cross our fingers you know what wait a minute look, 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 look. here it comes it's coming it's coming it works so Ganesh even the old version does work on the tube now I couldn't believe it this is really a really a good news for Linux really bloody brilliant if they can get, keep going and get it going really brilliantly I'll be such a happy chap here it's unbelievable so yeah Ganesh got to be a separate video on that one super duper Sneaky Linux going out, out close, so free out of free. Lovely.